<laughs> it's your girl. What day happened? Hello.
isn't it? So you're a little bit early on the throttle. And yeah, definitely felt a bit That's like more there. kind of, yeah, you're carrying more speed into it, which is cool. Yeah, so, okay. I listened. Yeah, you did. That's right. <laughs> so where now do you think you can go quicker? Um, I think I can still go quicker. Definitely go. Under the bridge. Yeah. And I, I think just confidence there. I just... The same again, should turn one. Yeah. Uh, again, you're quicker through scary tree than me. Again, a little bit through the left. Yeah, the left hand. Uh, more there, to be honest. Uh, yeah, you're quicker through the heaven still. Yeah. Tight left hander. Quicker through Hamilton than me. Ah, uh, here we are. Right, so from bomb hole, you're maybe lifting a bit too much. You can probably just. I know it's scary. <laughs> but, and I'm still doing quite a big lift, but I'm back on the pad quite quick. Okay. So you, you're going to take it. So we look at turn one, turn three. Yeah, three. And then bomb hole. I reckon those, those are the three you should come straight on, so you're not trying to tackle too much. Yeah. Does that feel okay? Amazing, thank um, you. Back again, just been out for my second session, last one of the day. It went really well, obviously it's, it rained here, but it, it cleared up so quickly. I only did one lap of wet, came in, got them changed, and went out and did some really quick laps that I'm really happy with, and now really happy to go on to tomorrow with, so. Yeah, like, and I, 
have to have you, but not the tight stuff. I can't physically see where I'm going to turn in. No. So I'm just guessing. Yeah. You've got like one little hole through the middle, and that's yeah. where you can see. Yeah, I'm sideways on the straight. Like, I don't think I went flat. I was too. It's getting worse yeah. as the session went on. Because at the start of the session, it was only the entry of the pit lane going past you go. But like up the straight, it's like chattering away. No, 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 it was, it was dreadful. I go around like I'm driving the shops, right? Yeah, the shops have got cones down to lay out where the, where the actual line is. <laughs> yeah, too yeah, I, I, I want the instructor code, she's going to put that out for us. Yeah. Don't mind. Yeah, we'll it wouldn't matter, we didn't see them. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was coming along the pit lane, my, my screen had fogged up that much. I was asking if, if I was like, too close to the pit wall because I couldn't see the pit wall. But yeah, we've yeah. just been out for um, qualifying. Went quite well because all me and Jimmy basically said all we wanted to do was get it on the track and make sure we both feel comfortable in the car and get confidence in the car because obviously practice we only did one lap each so we said right quality don't need to do it like that we just need to be confident in the car so the Praga is definitely different for us today like in the dry yeah we're the fastest cars on the track but in the wet we don't have all the stuff that the other cars have like the Nissan and the TCRs they have traction control we don't have any of that so it's all down to the skill of the driver but you know when it gets to this this wet condition at this extreme it's really difficult to you know keep it on the track so and we're just happy that we got out there and kept it on the track yeah so because of the conditions at the moment they're doing single file start that's going to be a lot different to usual but i'm sure jimmy will be absolutely fine i just, just told him basically to stay stay a little bit back because that will work in his favor and also be ready to brake because anything could happen out there like you could have cars coming off but yeah we'll see how it goes really looking forward to going out second for those of you on uh, YouTube or all be willing, uh, Jimmy Broadbent's on more than likely. He starts towards the back. There's going to be a lot of spray in the early laps here. Jem Hepworth in the 87 car show with Jimmy Broadbent. So they've had a spin at that's at Agostini. Just been out for our first race, which didn't go too well, sadly. Uh, Jimmy brought it in, I went out and I made a mistake. And sadly, it wouldn't restart because I'm still on the track. So, yeah, so when I was trying to restart the car, I did the full reset um, thing that they tell us to do, which is you turn it off, put the ignition on, wait five seconds, then press the start button. I tried that probably about five times, but no sound, no nothing, so... Race, but, oh, well, the second race later on. Jimmy Broadbent has 
learnt so quickly. His first season of uh, real life racing, he's one of Britain's top sim racers of course, but uh, proving that sim racing can train you for the real thing and he's proving it here, he's almost on the fringe of the top 10. lost to that by the safety car which is a bit gutting for us because we thought we had a really good pit stop and we also just missed a collision um, you can probably I think Ollie got some footage of it that he'll put in uh, it was quite a bad collision in pit lane but no one was hurt which is brilliant and Jimmy didn't even see it until we, we've just told him just now um, but yeah I don't know what happened about the, the lap times but we thought we were going to come out in like a deep frame but it worked out the other tactics worked better sadly this round but um, we're racing again in a month's time at Alton Park so we'll see you guys then thank you so much for watching and all of your nice comments S subscribe Here he is. subscribe <laughs> like comment subscribe all good <laughs> see you next time